After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable, calculating even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with.
numbers. Some kind of coordinates. Did someone want these to be found? Let's get you patched up. lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, it should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, I'll type in my fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura.
can't do that now. I can't do that now. Servants of the Sun Queen. Sacrifice. Murder. There's no record of these kinds of rituals in ancient Yamatai. Unless it was erased from the texts. do that now.
water and pestle, probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well. Hopefully animal bones. Telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey, is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah, he's cute, <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. Fourteen years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey Grim, time to button down the hatches. I'll be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> All right. 
Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Good Lord, cut! 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 Uh, is, is he coming back? Uh, I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. A discover. The world renowned archaeologist, Mr. Dr. Dr. James Whitman. It's just a fish. It's, it's fine. It's just You're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid-19th century.
Damn it. Going down again. Surprised they even work after so many years. I now follow Father Matthias. If I'm gonna be stuck on his island, at least I have the best possible job. He calls me his first salary. Matthias might be insane, but he's smart and dangerous. He knows things about this island. I believe is our only chance of ever getting out of here. Matthias keeps us happy. We control the guns and the food. Anything the storm brings to this island is ours, and we decide the fate of any new survivors. Any who defy us are killed. We are masters of this fucked up prison.
just take it. Please. Expedition Field Report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain.
Alex, are you there? Yeah. The console's a wreck. Damn it. Well, unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch in manually through the maintenance panel. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh... You're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Climbing again. Great. I am alone now. The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boat was tossed and turned by the storms. The clouds look like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It didn't seem random. I sensed emotion, something deliberate. I don't know what's happening on this island, not yet. But if I ever hope to escape, I must understand this phenomenon. Now my real work begins. work after all this. Oh, my God. 